So we have G and we have H and we know they have a total of 3850 and Gopal was paid 2030 more than Henry. So Gopal is 1U plus 2030 and Henry is 1U. Okay, you work this out and you should get that Gopal has 2940 and Henry has 910 with a total of 3850 okay so if you don't know how to get this then seriously you got bigger problems than this question uh, don't try this question go and work out go and learn how to do this first okay so Gopal and Henry were paid based on the number of days they worked Gopal worked three times so this is actually total and this is the number of days all right so this is three times this is one time and Gopal was paid five dollars more than Henry every day. So every day Gopal was paid five dollars. So one U plus five and this is one U. So this is actually a if you look at a standard total number of and each question, right? So this is actually a total difference. So you take the total difference divided by the each difference, you'll get the number of difference. Now the problem with this is actually this part. All right. So Gopal worked three times as many days. So it, you cannot use three times as many days to find the total difference because it's not fair, right? I work three times as many days as you. So I need to convert the three times as many days into uh the same as henry which is one time okay so that's the tricky part now so you need to actually divide this by three and divide this by three so therefore we get the total for one unit of days is 980 which is 2940 divided by three and this guy is 910 okay and then now we have the difference is 70. So total difference is 70. Each difference I know is 5. So I know my total difference number of each difference. So each difference is 5. Total difference is 70. So number of days would be 70 divided by 5, which is 14 days. Okay, so 14 days is actually one unit of days. It's 14 days. So how many days did Gopal work? So Gopal worked for three units of days. Three units of days equals to 14 times three. And then that will give you your answer. Okay, which is actually 42. Ah. All right, so this is actually a pretty tricky question. Um, and the most tricky part to this question is actually this part. Okay, this divide by three. You have to take the number of days and divide by three because you cannot compare somebody who has worked three times as much to somebody who has worked uh, one unit of days only. Okay, that's not fair. La. So you have to compare one unit of days with each other and then you will figure out the question. Okay?